last time we talked about the consumption function. Remember that consumption is equal to autonomous consumption plus the marginal propensity to consume, MPC, times, times disposable income. So when disposable income goes up, planned consumption goes up. How much you want to buy goes up. Now how much does it go up? If your, if your income goes up by a dollar, how much will your consumption go up by? It depends on the size of the marginal propensity to consume. If the marginal propensity to consume is one half, then when your income goes up by a dollar, you, your spending will go up by 50 cents or a half. That defines the slope of this curve. It's defined by how big the marginal propensity to consume is. If your marginal propensity to consume is higher, say 75%, then when income goes up and you spend 75 cents, the slope will be higher. So, GDP then, according to our simple model, depends on consumption. Now let's add investment to that, or I. Investment in plant and equipment, investment in housing. What determines how big uh, investment is? Well, one important factor that we'll talk about later in the class is interest rates. When interest rates go up, it costs more to borrow money to buy a house, so housing investment will go down. If interest rates fall, mortgage rates fall, uh, people can afford to buy more houses, so investment will go up. The same holds true for plant and equipment. But we're going to set that to one side because we want our model to be simple. So instead we'll just say that people choose how much investment they want um, depending on a number of factors that we're not even going to explain at the moment. So how do we represent that on a graph? Well on the vertical axis we'll put investment just as over here we put consumption. On the horizontal axis we'll once again put disposable income and we'll say in the economy at any particular time, investment is just I0, a certain amount that people want to invest, say $100. Now the next thing that we want to do is add these two things together to get a picture of how much spending there is uh, in our economy. So what we want to do is add investment to consumption. How do we do that? Well, we're going to draw a new graph. And on our new graph, we're going to call it plan spending. That is how much Households want to consume, how much businesses want to invest. And we're just going to add these two things together. So we have the consumption. Down here, by the way, we have, once again, uh, income, disposable income. So we have the consumption. And we want to add to that investment. And remember, before we had investment was equal to, say, $100. So at every point, here, we're just going to add a hundred dollars. And there we have it. Planned spending at every level of disposable income is equal to consumption plus investment. Next time, we're going to show you uh, what we mean by equilibrium income and how we can get from here to how much spending there is actually in the economy.